Okay. So the first thing that I uh, hmm. so the first thing I'm thinking about is that this this is most likely this might be a quotient rule. And the reason is I'm saying that's because I mean the derivative of tangent x is secant squared, right? And we have an x squared here, so we have something squared at the bottom, which uh, sort of ooh, kind of hints at me that this might be a quotient, a reverse quotient rule. So, of course, if we if we remember the quotient rule, it's f prime of g minus f g prime g squared. Okay, and of course, we're integrating this. So the integral of this is just going to be f over g. And we want to know what f is, and we want to know what g is. So let's experiment. To, so to do reverse quotient rule, I'm going to assume that g is equal to x. So maybe g, g might be x. So this is just a guess. And my other guess is that f is equal to, well, this is f prime, secant square, 1 plus ln of x, Okay, so this might be tangent of, so f might be tangent of 1 plus ln of x. Okay, what's also very helpful is that this is a minus sign, so that also kind of hints at me that this, this also might be a, qu a reverse quotient rule. Okay, so now let's test it. Let's test this. x squared, okay f prime, this is secant square of 1 plus ln of x times over x. g is x, so this cancels out. Okay, and then minus tangent 1 plus ln of x, and then the derivative of x is just 1. Oh, cool, would you look at that? We This is the exact same uh, integral as this one. So the answer is indeed tangent of 1 plus ln of x over x. So that is our answer. That's how I do reverse quotient rule. And it should say, yep, there you go. Awesome.